Alright, the first resurrection. Let's take a look at this phrase or what however you want to call it. So let's do it this way. Verse 5. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years are finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. So let's clarify, I guess, before I move on. Uh, we that are born of God, the second death has no power over us. Alright, this should be obvious stuff, right? Uh, he, whosoever lives and believes in me, shall never die. Believest thou this? And then, of course, we are a holy priesthood right now. We are a royal priesthood. And holy nation. Right? A peculiar people. A chosen generation. A chosen generation. Alright. Now, the first resurrection. Now, you'll have the zombie doctrine dispensationalist tell you that, oh, there must be a second resurrection. Well, what about a third resurrection or a fourth resurrection? So, it's nonsensical. There's an easy way to comprehend this. Very easy. The first resurrection is Jesus Christ. When he returns, verse 11, is when we are resurrected. When he comes in the clouds of heaven, we shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Uh, first the dead in Christ, then those of us which are alive and remain shall be lifted up with them. All right, And this is the judgment day. Those that are not saved are destroyed. Those of us that are saved are changed in the twinkling of of an eye. All right. Very simple stuff, but this first resurrection this is Jesus. He resurrected and brings or gives us the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost whereby we are born of God right now. Right now we are born of God. Right now Jesus Christ reigns with us. And they lived and reigned with Christ right now. It doesn't say Jesus reigns a thousand years because Jesus reigns forever. But the first resurrection is Jesus. We can go to 1 Corinthians 15 and talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. This is the first resurrection. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ, Jesus Christ, being the first fruits, the first resurrection, the first fruits of them that slept. Afterward, they that are at, or I'm sorry, afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. Afterward, they meaning those of us that are saved at his coming afterward they that are Christ at his coming this is when 
Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. So blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. The first resurrection is Jesus. He is the first resurrection, the first fruits. And then every man in his own order, Christ, Jesus Christ, the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. This idea that there's going to meet multiple resurrections is ridiculous. There's not going to be Jesus Christ resurrected and then people resurrecting later and then after a thousand years more people resurrecting and more people resurrecting and so on and so forth. That sort of nonsensical dispensation is not Christian. It's not in the Bible. It's deranged and all what all you have to do is believe the Bible and I kind of think this is like a test for a lot of people do you trust the Bible or do you uh, trust the false teachers that's really what it comes down to do you trust what the Bible says or do you trust false teachers nowhere in Revelation 20 does it suggest Jesus Christ reigns 1,000 years? It's not there. It's not anywhere in the Bible. And in fact, I mean, just from a purely logical standpoint, we know that Jesus Christ reigns from ever. He is from everlasting. But in, specifically in Luke chapter 1, verse 33, He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end the lunatics the zombie doctrine people are teaching you that Jesus is going to reign 1,000 years that's not true it's not in the Bible it's not in Revelation 20 they're only getting that information from false teachers and you could go back and look Matthew 24 Mark 13 Luke 21 when they asked Jesus what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world the very first thing he says is take heed that no man deceive you trust what the Bible says trust the Bible that you hold in your hands and, st and look these guys that teach this zombie doctrine they are not getting it from the Bible don't trust the false teaching trust the Bible you hold in your hands okay that's it have a good day